Hi all. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick way to fill a garment with the print by using the clipping mask. So on the screen right now, you'll see a print, a simple print that I created and it has um it's actually one layer and the layer is locked. So just for safe keeping and and trying to avoid any mistakes, I'm going to unlock my layer. I'll go up to the move tool and just click and drag just to make sure that it's selected. And I wanna bring the sizing of it down. So I'm gonna use Command T on my Mac. That's the shortcut for transform. If you're using a PC, you would hit Control T as in transform. So I'm just scaling down the size just a little bit. And you'll see why why I scale it down in a second. Okay, so I scale it down. Now it's different ways that I can take this print into the, the next screen. So the next screen is a basic t-shirt flat. Now to get that print inside this screen, I can simply copy and paste or I can click and drag it into the next screen. So I'm going to press down and drag and take it over to the tab and pull it into this screen and here you go so it's there it's just really large so I'm gonna use the shortcut that I used earlier I'll hit command T on a Mac once again if you're using the PC you use control T for transform that's just the quick shortcut so all I'm doing is transforming and scaling the size of my print down to fit just over and around my t-shirt. So I want it to be about the same dimension and size as my T. So I'll stretch it out just a little bit and I'll pull it up. So I think this is good. But one thing I didn't do is I need to get rid of the background of my t-shirt. So I'm gonna click on my print and I'll make it invisible for a second. So in my layers panel, you'll see that layer three is visible, which is the print. So I'll make it invisible and I'm gonna click on layer one, which is my t-shirt. So the t-shirt is here by itself. And then I have layer, well, it's labeled layer two, the background. So what I wanna do, I just want to delete that. So I'm gonna click on layer two and take it into the trash can. Let's see if it's going to go. If it's not going to go, I can unlock it and then pull it into my trash can. There we go. So I just unlocked it and dragged the background into my trash trash can. So now you see that there's no background for the t-shirt. It's only the T. I click the eyeball, which is this, just the visibility toggle. And you'll see that my print is on top of my t-shirt so whatever garment you want to fill make sure that the print is on top of that garment so the next thing that i'm going to do i'm going to go into layer three it's labeled layer three which is my print and i'm going to right click into that layer and it's going to give me blending option you'll scroll down using the arrow and you'll go to where it says create clipping mask you click create clipping mask once you do that your print is now filled inside of the t-shirt. So on the layers panel where it says normal, you want to click on next to the arrow on the arrow next to normal and then you can scroll down and choose whatever type of filter that you like. But for, you know, something like this, I would say either multiply or darken, but multiply is a little stronger, so I'll choose that. Now, the fun thing is you can actually click on your print. So you go up to the move tool just to make sure it's selected, and you can click and drag and, and move around your print to reposition it you can hit command or control t to transform to rescale it you can twist and turn you know in this way you'll have different effects when it comes to your print and once you're done you hit the return or enter button 
on your your keypad move it and shift it around the way that you like and once you have it in a good positioning the next thing that you want to do you want to merge them so that they become one layer so you can go up to the layer option and you can click either merge down merge visible but for this this sample i'll do flatten image quick and easy and it already locks the image for me so since it's locked once I try to click and drag it, it asks me, do I want to convert to a normal layer? I click yes. So now it's a normal layer. It unlocks. And I'm going to scale it down just a little bit. I'm going to hit Command T. And the reason is because I want to get rid of this white fill or this white background. And to make sure that I get all of that background, I scale it down to fit inside my canvas. I'll click Enter go to the magic wand click the background hit delete then hit command D to deselect on my Mac or control D to deselect on my Mac and after that I'm good to go and once you're done you can save your file as whatever you like always save two options I don't know what this is I'm gonna do save to my computer this is something new so I'll save to my computer and always save two options. So I'll call this printed flat. And I'm gonna save the first one as a Photoshop version. You click save. That way I can always go back and edit the Photoshop version. And once I'm happy with the Photoshop, I will save the next version as, I'll do save on, on your computer I'll save it as a JPEG so I'll go here to where it says save a copy the name is already created for me in the drop down box I'll choose the first JPEG click Save click OK and now I have a permanent document and I can send this JPEG anywhere I like I can place it in other documents in tech packs and all of that but this is simply how you can fill a flat by using the clipping mask filter.